All right, so month five update. Quite a roller coaster of a month. Had a few weeks where I was super on point. Um, everything was going right, super motivated. Other weeks where I sort of fell off the boat, wasn't motivated, couldn't get my calories in. And also came off with creatine this month, which was quite a big mental adjustment. Um, but yeah, a lot of ups and downs this month, but in general, a positive upward trend, uh, which is great. So starting off with diet, diet has been at 3,900 calories um, per day, which has been pretty good in terms of you know, making me gain weight. Um, gained a little bit too much weight recently, so I think for the time being, I'll probably stay at 3,900 calories until I plateau, which probably will be for a while. So pretty reasonable weight gain every single week, and then boom, in week 20, gained like three pounds. No idea how that happened. Wasn't eating more than I usually did. It's a very weird body, I guess. So if we look at the long-term graph, pretty beast, about almost 20 pounds in 20 weeks. Let's keep going. All right, so you know the drill. Left photo is end of month one, right photo is end of month five. No pump, meaning this is how it looks like regularly. Front delts popping in this photo. Definitely lost a lot of definition in the more recent photo. But overall, getting a lot more thickness and girth. Really sacrificing definition for mass at this point, which is paying off. Here are now comparison videos. So with a pump, so after working out, looking my biggest. Um, same thing, left is end of month one, right is end of month five. So gonna be prioritizing shoulders and arms moving forward. I feel like that's an area that needs improvement. So probably gonna add an extra day just dedicated to that. Here's a third person perspective with my wonky tripod setup. This was taken on one of those days where I was just super unenergetic. Pump wasn't the best. Very confident, better pump days are coming. So like I mentioned at the start of this video, month five was filled with ups and downs. But in hindsight, I'm glad I was just able to recognize when I was feeling super demotivated um, and losing sight of my goals. Um, and being able to motivate myself by seeing how far I've come and also where I want to be. Um, I started week one at 168 pounds. Now I just recently hit 185 pounds. So that's almost 20 pounds gained in the span of five months. Uh, lean bulking as I definitely got a little bit more fat, but very minimal in terms of putting on 20 pounds. As you know, my neck is still visible, which is great. So that really motivated me just to see how much progress I've made so far. And also my goal to hit 200 pounds by the end of this year, which is definitely doable if I stay on track to gain around two to three pounds of weight every single month. And when we get to the end of this year, perhaps I'm gonna go on a cut or a bulk. We'll just see how 200 pounds looks on my frame. But that's been, a, that's been the biggest lesson, just learning how to motivate myself when I was feeling super unmotivated. Also, I always want working out to be a passion of mine, not a complete obsession. I think an obsession is where it becomes unhealthy and your whole life revolves around it and you don't really make space for anything else. Personally, I believe in a good balance of things. And so this month when I got sort of demotivated, I, make, I made sure to take those extra rest days, go out a few nights, sleep in, miss a few meals. Um, that's not the end of the world doing 80% of the things correctly, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't hinder your progress that much. And personally, I think that's a much better way to enjoy the process and the journey um, and not really get burnt out by obsessing over the tiny things. So month five, learned a lot, definitely very memorable. Still got the momentum going, gonna hit 200 pounds end of this year, 